Konnichiwa, and welcome to the 251st podcast of the NC Run County MMA Group. My name is Robert Tyler. I'm currently the sole president of this club. Today I'm going to tell you what's been going on with my life and also to uh, do some previews on some an- old anime series. But first, let me tell you what's been going on. Last Saturday, uh, Brent Newhall had a bit of a problem with uh, his live show. He has to put it on hiatus for a little bit because Brent is busy uh, having some projects that are coming due for NASA and he said that this is going to be very hectic so he's taking a few weeks off so he can get that done. Unfortunately that's kind of sad in a way because I usually enjoy going into while he's doing his live podcast go into the chat rooms and talk with everybody. So I'm going to be having to take a break from that for a little while unfortunately. But I'm hoping Brent will have his work done and I'll soon be back talking to everybody. I do appreciate talking to everyone on the uh, Talking No Video uh, chat room. Alright, now let's move on to something else. I recently saw an episode of Prince Planet. This is an old uh, school anime. It was done back in the 1960s. And I also saw an episode of Ape Man. And it, that, that's another old school anime. I, I went and I was there, went over to my favorite little place and went online Sunday and um, watch those episodes. Now, this is also too a bit of an old school anime, but I'm about ready to talk about as far as my review. Vampire Hunter D. Now, if you're a fan of horror, this is a wonderful uh, anime feature to watch. Uh, recommended age would have to be at least for 16 up. There is new T in it, and it's very violent. But if you're like a fan like me who enjoy like the old Hammer films, this is an excellent anime. This was put out by Streamline, and this is to show you the Streamline uh, logo here, and also down here, if you can see that, I hope you can, you'll see Streamline. And Streamline first put this uh, animated movie out. Now this is another animated feature that was shown on the Sci-Fi channel, and we're going to talk about Eight Man After. And this was put out by uh, it says bit video comic Orin, but I think it's an Orin uh, home video. And Eight Man is basically a cyborg. If there is violent and sexual situations in this um, movie. Recommend an age for it, I would at least say 16 up. But it was played on the Sci Fi channel uh, about middle of the 1990s. Now, this was actually played on the Cartoon Network on the Adult Swim, and I'm going to talk about Blue Submarine 6. Now, this was done by Gonzo. And the music is well done. It has a very nice story. It originally was an OVA, but for this particular uh, video, they chopped the OVA up and made it into one big movie, which is all right by me. I still got all the content of the story, but uh, Blue Submarine 6 is basically an OVA. And this was put out by Bandai Entertainment. Now, and it was played, like I said, on Adult Swim. Now, this next one you can check out for free. This is put out by Funimation. Uh, at, I mean, when I say free, you can check it out of the Roman Public Library on DVD for free. Excuse me, let me get myself correct here. And I'm going to talk about Galaxy Railways. Uh, it sort of reminds me a little bit of the opening credits when they, when the person's doing the voice and starting the end to the story. It reminds me of some of the either the Outer Limits or the Twilight Zone. But it was done by the guy who did Captain Harlock and the Cockpit. Uh, and it's a very nice feature and it's one complete box set well our next meeting will be uh, July 17th meet us in front of the Books a Million at 5 o'clock and at 6.30 we're going to adjourn after we get some discussing and done what we want to do with the anime group as far as the future then for the entire month of August we will be having a display at the Rowan Public Library And then, of course, August 10th, we're having a J-Pop night from 6 to 8. Hope you can make it for that. And then we're going to have a regular meeting on August 20th. And then on August 27th, meet us at the Comic Mom Store from 1 to 6 for a membership drive. Uh, September 10th, we will be having a uh, special event down at the Salisbury Mall. We'll be there from 11 to 6. We'll be hoping to be trying to get some more new members to join. And also, too, we'll be having a regular meeting in uh, 
September as well. I've got to go find a meeting place for that. And then in uh, October, we're going to have another regular meeting. And I'll give you the dates, times as soon as I get everything arranged for that. And then August, uh, October, excuse me, October 31st, we're going to have a crossplay event sponsored with the Salisbury Mall and with the NC Roman County Anime Group. Uh, time for that will probably be from uh, 1 to 6. And it'll be held on October uh, 30th of this year. Well, I hope that you're doing well today, and I wish you a very good day. Goodbye.